This is the third tutorial and we're going to create a roof on our home. So I'm going to go to camera view, standard views front so I can look straight on. I'm going to first start with my line tool and I'm going to snap to the center of my wall and I want my peak to be about three feet high. I'm then going to extend my line down to the edge of the wall and then you'll notice I can keep extending, it's going to kind of grab the edge um, to extend it, and I'm going to type in one foot to have a nice overhang. I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side, and then I want to give it a six inch thickness. So I'm going to draw six inches and then connect the dots. So I'm just clicking and I'm typing six inches. You'll notice it will start to snap to the lengths that you've used. So now I just need to delete this center line. I no longer need it. And now I'm gonna highlight just my roof part. So I'm gonna go from the left to the right and highlight everything in my roof so it won't select anything else. And I'm going to right click and make it a component, name it roof, and hit create. So now I can rotate around so that I can push pull it back. So I'm actually going to double click into my component Grab push pull, and I'm going to push it back to here, to the edge of my roof, and then I want it to go one foot more, so I'm going to click on it again and type in one foot. So that's like an easy little trick. Same thing here. I'm going to snap to, actually I could just snap right to that roof. And then I want to do the same thing up here, one foot. And then you'll notice over here I don't have a surface anymore. That is okay. If you just draw a line to like complete the surface, the surface will come back. And then I'm going to drag that and go to my roof. And now I have a nice roof line. Now we need to connect this wall to the roof. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is kind of do a little bit of setup. So I'm going to click on holding down shift on my keyboard. I'm going to select my other three walls in the floor and I'm going to hide them. Um, right now I have my hidden geometry turned on, so I'm just going to go to view and turn that off. Okay. Now I'm going to go to camera, standard view, front. Um, and actually before I do that, it's going to be easiest if I actually push my roof back um, so that it's flush with my wall. And then later on I can extend it back out that foot. So I'm going to double click on my roof and I'm going to push pull it back so that it's flush with my Okay, so now camera view, standard front, and now I'm going to double click on my wall to edit it, and then I'm going to use my pencil tool to kind of outline everything. So now I have a surface. I can delete my old line. All right, so now I have a surface on that wall. And then now the back's a little tricky, to be honest. There's a few different ways you could do it. You can try to draw the lines in to make a surface. Or if you use push-pull, sometimes that'll work. So I push-pulled it. Now you'll notice it gave me the lines, but it didn't complete the surface. So see how I have those lines? So now all I have to do is just draw over one of those lines, and it should complete that surface for me. So then I can select this line and delete it. And I have a complete wall. Now I can go to View tab, Hidden Geometry, and I'm going to just select everything, right click, Unhide, and now I have this wall complete. Um, so I can then extend, if I click on this roof, I can extend this out one more foot again and make that match. And then I would repeat kind of the same steps on this side as well, or you can copy and paste this wall and then just delete the window out of it if you didn't want it. That's one way to do that. 